Good morning, good morning. It is cold this morning. It is about 28 degrees right now at about eight o'clock. You can see all the ice on the ground. I just got through dropping Margarita off at the gate. She had to get to work. Uh, she didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. She didn't sleep too good. So I didn't put her on camera this morning. And I woke up to the heater off and it cold in the cabin. Um, I guess one of my tanks ran out of gas because I've been running it pretty hard uh, the last week or two. So that's good to know about how long. I don't know if it ran out of gas or if those tanks are just getting too cold. Uh, I might have to insulate those tanks. I'm thinking that's probably going to have to happen today. And then... Uh, Plus the generator shut off on me again uh, when I woke up this morning while we was making coffee. So I think I'll be taking the generator back today, unfortunately, which is going to eat up my day. I think I'm going to see if I can exchange it for a different model because I am not very happy with the 4550 uh, Predator. It has been giving me the same problems, uh, all three of them so far so i'm thinking it's a flaw in the design there's a couple other things too like when you pull the pull cord uh only after about a month or whatever it starts ripping and then you gotta like cut it and retie it and everything else it's got a lot of issues i'm not happy with that model my predator 9000 uh no problems i haven't had no problems with it and i got it that's the first generator i got when i came out here um which I have used it uh, hard like I have used the 4550 for a little while and still didn't have no issues with it. The only issue I have with that one is that it uh, drinks about a gallon of gas an hour. So that gets pretty expensive pretty fast with current gas prices. So I can't really run that full time like that. I just can't afford that. Uh, I know everybody's saying, you know, get a diesel one and get this and get that, but generators are expensive and I've already bought these generators, so I don't really want to go buy another one right now and spend $2,000 on a diesel generator. <clears throat> and also diesel prices right now, honestly, is ridiculous, ridiculous. I know they're a lot stronger and a lot better. And honestly, before I went and bought a diesel generator, I'd probably go buy a diesel welder and use that because then I could use it as a generator and a welder. That way I can get more bang for my buck. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I know I got to do something though because <clears throat> we can straight up out of bed and go into work on a generator outside in 22 degree weather yeah not a good way to wake up in the morning i'll tell you but i see the sun peaking so it should be warming up here soon i'm looking forward to it hasn't been too bad um i thought i'd be a lot colder than what i am i mean i i'm in a t-shirt and a kind of a light deal and i'm actually in my sandals i don't even have my boots on right now and uh I'm not too bad. So I might be able to handle this cold weather pretty decent this year. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. I know I need to update my wardrobe though for Arkansas winters because I still have all my uh, Florida winter clothes. And uh, I just kind of suffered through it last year. <clears throat> but this year, I know would end the winter from what I've heard. is uh, It's all about having the right stuff and uh to be able to stay warm which i don't um i know one thing i need to do is i need to get some boots that's waterproof and insulated um i don't have no such critter um my snake boots used to be waterproof and insulated but <clears throat> they the whole bottom of those broke out so those are useless now and i haven't been able to get another pair and for some reason, which shocks me, this area, you can't find snake boots anywhere. I've went to probably 
five different stores asking, hey, do y'all sell snake boots and all this other? Nobody does. So, and I hate ordering shoes online because I got bad feet and I'm very particular about the shoes that I wear because if not, then it's going to hurt my back and everything else. So I don't like buying shoes online without being able to try them on and walk around them for a minute. So don't really know what I'm going to need to do about that. I guess I'm going to have to do some Googling and just call every place in this area the two major cities anyways which is Fort Smith and Russellville I've checked Russellville extensively and I ain't found uh, snake boots so if you're from this area and you know where to go get some insulated snake boots uh, leave it in the comments because I have not had any success yet and I have looked um, that and also you know I want to go hunting and stuff but I'm not going to go hunting sitting in there in tennis shoes and thin socks and freezing my what's happenings off <laughs> trying to go hunting so I need to get the right gear uh, but it is definitely looking like winter now and the end of fall even though it's not quite winter yet definitely most of the leaves are on the ground there's still a little bit of color a little bit which you'll see in the side window here in a minute we're about to pass a little bit of yellow see there it is and a little bit of orange but for the most part the leaves are history which is cool i'm gonna leave them on the ground especially in the yard because the plan is at some point this winter to level out the yard with the box blade and then use the tiller and till up all the leaves and stuff in the dirt and just kind of add some nutrients to the dirt so and get some grass planted and all that stuff for spring so because i'm hoping to have a nice green healthy yard uh next spring that way it'll cut down on the dirt and stuff in the cabin because that is a constant constant battle for me uh we're actually gonna just take a little drive this morning down the property and uh, I'm actually going to go down to the power lines and see if anything's moving. I need to uh, get a one of those uh, T-posts in the ground up here and put the camera up down here so I can see what's walking around. Because i got to put it on the T-post because everything's so high. I think it's going to take a lot of coffee today. A lot of coffee. Oh, there's ice on the ground everywhere. I don't know if you can see that right there behind me that's white, but that's normally black. So that tells you how much ice is on top of it. Definitely some frost. This is definitely the coldest day of the years or of the season, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say this year because January and February and stuff is in this year, but this is definitely the uh, coldest day so far for sure. It's not even close. <sighs> There's a tree stand on the corner of my property. I'm wondering if anybody's hunting in it. I don't know. I don't see nobody in it today. Probably because it's cold as booyah gaga up in here. I have a game camera down here and it looks like somebody opened it. I'll be right back. Hold on one second. Yep, it was definitely open. Huh, that makes me curious. 
I think today I'm going to come down here and set up some more game cameras. It's not so much out in the open and so I can see what's really going on down here. I had my neighbor the other day I talked to that owns the land beside me. I seen him out here hunting. I left him a note to give me a call on his truck. And he asked if I was down here hunting. And I said no. So somebody was down here. Oh, I promise you guys, if I find somebody hunting on my land without asking, it ain't going to be pretty. I really, really have a huge problem with re people not respecting other people's stuff in uh, areas. And uh, unfortunately, in the hunting world, there's a lot of people out there that don't have any kind of uh, hunting etiquette or... Uh, respect or morals whenever it comes to that and they just do whatever they want and come onto your property and try to hunt and pretty much the way I see it is is you're trying to take food off my table um, I'm a pretty nice guy um, if you ask me I'd probably let you but if you don't ask me well then you get a different version of me so um, we'll see how that turns out stay tuned but i have heard in this area that it is a it is a problem that uh there's certain groups or whatever um that i've been told to watch out for and uh that are just known to uh constantly hunt on somebody else's property or trespass and all that other stuff and the thing about it is is uh those same, same type of people, if they put that much effort in getting their stuff together, they'd probably have their own land to hunt. So, one of those types of deals. Just my personal opinion. I don't know. I was raised with a little bit more morals and respect than to be trespassing on people's property and all that other stuff. Especially when there's so much around here. There's so much state land and stuff that you can hunt on that you really don't have to do that you know uh, and the hunting license here i just got it it's 25 dollars. i mean it's 25 dollars to get a hunting license to be able to hunt on state land and all that other stuff so there's really no excuse to do that um like in florida to get like a hunting license like a decent one it's like 200 dollars really the good one is even more than that but here i just bought the best one that they sell here in arkansas that was like 25 dollars, 35 dollars, something like that and that's fishing hunting and everything for the year so yeah i don't know i don't get it <sighs> but i've let eclipse out this morning she is all happy um of course as soon as she came out and seen that there was ice on the ground and freezing she went to play in and running and just having a good time because this is the weather that she uh, was pretty much i mean this is what she thrives in she loves it she don't even want to come inside yesterday i had her out most of the day she was playing and hanging out and she always has the option to come in as she wants to. And uh, she didn't want nothing to do with coming in until it got close to dark last night. Then she came to the door. So she's living her best life out here on Come On Mountain right now. But it's going to be a long, cold day. I got to decide if I want to take the generator back or if I want to build today. I want to build today, but I'm wondering if getting the generator um, back is going to be the smarter move. That way I don't have to deal with that in the middle of this cold weather. Because uh, there's nothing more frustrating, let me tell you, than dealing with a generator that's not wanting to run um, in this cold weather. It's a pain in the butt. So I might take the generator back today and go ahead and build something to insulate the tanks. Um, I don't know not much about propane and freezing weather. 
um, if you could leave in the comments if that's a thing if it gets too cold which like I said it got down to about 24 degrees maybe 25 degrees I think last night is it a thing with propane getting too cold and then not working properly um, because I really don't think that tanks out of gas. Um, I can see the frost line, you know how like when your propane's coming out, it gets cold. It's still like halfway up the tank. So I think the tank's still halfway full. I went ahead and switched the tanks this morning um, just to go ahead and get the heat going for margarita. But I'm thinking it's a cold weather issue. I'm thinking I need to insulate that somehow. And I'm sure it needs to be vented somehow, so can I insulate all the way up the side of the tank and just leave the head at the top out? Or do I need to actually build like a whole building and vent it and everything else? I need your help. I need your help, because I don't know nothing about this kind of cold weather, so it's all learning to me. Um, I feel like last year I kind of had the same issue but I thought it was one of my tanks wasn't good because one tank would do it and the other tank wouldn't. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. <sighs> Let me see if you can see. You see Eclipse? <laughs> She's sitting on my seat of the kayak just chilling. <laughs> oh, I love that girl. She's crazy. Off here, let me take y'all off here. Oh, dropped you! <laughs> I'll show y'all around for a second before we get off here. Oh, yeah, that's my topper. It is iced up. Got ice all on the ground. It's definitely a cold one this morning are you living your best life are you living your best life huh are you living your best life <laughs> good morning <laughs> good morning you got perking your stuff with all this cold weather are you having fun your brother didn't want to go outside this morning oh nope get down Get down. You don't need to go in there. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get my day started. Um, definitely uh, leave some comments in there. Kind of help me out. Let me know what I'm working with here. And uh, any ideas that y'all might have for insulating those tanks. That's not going to be a crazy project because I got that crazy project going on right now so I don't need any more crazy projects to get on to uh, I will be uh, finishing up the generator room today I got that going on um, I don't have the roof material in yet so I need to actually call them today I didn't get the metal order jet because I didn't know exactly what size I was gonna need but now I know so um, there will be a video coming out tomorrow I believe and uh, and then maybe another one on Saturday and Sunday and you can see what I've been up to all right guys until we see each other again hey come on keep it real and keep it warm come on